Hi guys, I'm JT, welcome to JT Gaming, where we're going to review your games and level up your skill. Unit promoted. Okay, so the first game we're going to watch is between Baya and Kivu. It looks like we're playing an Agro Wheels Nod deck, uh, so let's take a look and see how we get on. I mean, we've got a massive uh, rank and level advantage, so I can't see this guy doing too well against you. Establishing We're going to be watching from Kivu's perspective. Three, Not two, Kivu, sorry, from Baya's one. perspective. New objective received. Okay, so we open with Wills, we see he has uh, gone for the jump jets and we bring out the appropriate counter of um, the militants and we delay building our harvester which is good because, well, there's nothing to kill with his jump jets. Okay, so we're going to delay even further on our uh, harvester uh, build to go and harass his harvester. Nice little turning of the tables. Okay, see I would have probably left the militants where they were and moved the back ones towards them rather than um, moving the militants up. Um, and we've seen so many shockwaves we need to get wheels out, that's good, very good. And again some more militants now, yep, very good. Okay, so considering how long it took us to get our half strike, it's quite impressive that uh, we've actually got an economy advantage right now. Because his uh, jump jet rush didn't fail, and he he took a while to get his uh, harvester out as well. Okay, well he's really persistent on that harvester rush with the jump jets. I mean, he just doesn't know when to let something go, I guess. Okay. Good, and we're moving things away from the counters, which is good. And yeah, I think it was wise for you to keep those militants up on the top right. He's clearly going to keep on trying with um, this jump jet tactic. That's just not working for him. He just doesn't seem to get it yet. And we take the first missile. Very good. And good, you moved your flame troops away from its counter. And I'd probably get another bike out to help with the um, talent, or obviously the Banshee, like you're thinking. Okay, sorry, I didn't see that Orca up the top. Yeah, the Banshee is definitely the best there. Or perhaps some laser squads would have uh, dealt with them as well. Wow, you are absolutely just crushing this guy. Oh, we see an APC coming up. APCs can be quite problematic because of how difficult they are to get off pads. But you are body blocking this APC very effectively. Okay, so it looks like you're going to concede the middle pad and just go for the um, third pad, which no reason not to, I guess. Um, those flame troops up the top are just kind of sitting there right now. Oh, okay, okay, we're moving them, that's good. And you've decided to go for the base attack. That's going to distract his talent, I guess. A second flame trooper with the Sephiroth pod going for the base. And it looks like we're taking care of the pit before the top, which is good. Although, I don't think we're going to be able to save our harvester, unfortunately, because of how damaged it was. There's quite a lot going on on the screen at the moment there, so you couldn't hit all the fires and put them out for it. Okay, good, and we're double teaming the talons. The talons are actually surprisingly good anti air sometimes. Wow, it looks like he could actually take this game. Like, this is quite surprising considering the level of this advantage he has. Okay, good, we stole out the missile. We need to get onto the other pad as 
soon as possible. Okay, good. So now we've got some non-soft, non-hard counters on the uh, third pad over there, but the t tank over the talent. And wow, we just managed to squeeze that one out. That was actually more, more close than I thought the games would be, um, because considering the level and um, rank advantage you had. Okay, so let's go on to our next game. Okay, so our second game is between Bayer and Fortis. Looks like we're playing a GDI deck. Okay, so let's take a look and see how we get on with this. We do have slight level advantages here, so uh, we sh should do okay. Again, we're going to be watching from Bayer's perspective. Okay, so we open into the Harvester, and we're going to do a Militant to Scout. And it looks like your opponent had the same sort of idea here. Unit ready. Good, okay, so you're going to get the 2v1 here. And again, he's had the same idea. Actually, to be honest, you, I, I wish you'd get you to it. the other side, uh, because he's probably going to build a double harvester quite soon, looking at his deck type. And we're not going to know this straight off the bat. Okay, actually, he hasn't, he hasn't built one yet, which is surprising to me, considering he has uh, the Basilisk and Cyborg in his deck. And he's gone for the bikes, because he's clearly going to he was clearly thinking, oh, I'm going to go try it and aggro the harvester. That didn't work quite out for him. And yeah, it looks like we're going to take this first missile. Okay, very good. I mean, we're microing away uh, our units from the counters, although our one did that die because we were a little bit distracted. And we're moving our units towards, uh, count to, towards our counters towards our units, which is good. Um, we should be able to kill this harvester with, with, before our tank dies. Yeah. And that's effectively distracted his units. He's gone for a missile spam here for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, we could bring out literally one shock and take care of most of these. And yeah, like if the shock and um, a pit bull would take care of literally everything on the field right now. Um, but we already have the tanks out there, so we're good. Actually, it looks like our militants are taking care of this quite quickly as well, to occur. Uh, this guy just doesn't stand a chance, actually. This is a, an absolute slaughter. Okay, well played. Um, on to our third and final game. Okay, so our third and final game is going to be between Baia and... Well, I can't pronounce that name. We'll call him Hong Konger uh, for his alliance name there. Uh, okay, so let's get on with this and see how we, we get on. Uh, we'll be watching from Baia's perspective. Okay, so we open into the wheels like we normally do with this deck, and we see he's got the militants there, so our wheels take care of these quite easily. Oh, he's got into quite a fast um, bike squad there. We need to get our own missile squad, laser squad, or a uh, bike of our own out to uh, get rid of that before it kills our harvester. We've gone for the bikes, and yeah, looks like we'll be doing okay here. Uh, some decent micro there to blo block him off from escaping it and playing a game of chase. Uh, all the while though, he is charging the pads. Um, so his job of distracting us seems to be going quite well. Um, okay, so we've gone for tanks, which is good because we seeing he's gone all vehicle. I'm moving the wheels onto the top pad, which is good, we've done that. At this point, you need to micro um, your tank over to the next pad instead of leaving it there. Cause uh, there is just going to get killed. So I'd micro the tank up and move the um, militants in. Okay, so we move the militants in. Uh, it looks like he's going to take care of the um, first missile here. It looks like we were just a little bit distracted, unfortunately, at the beginning. He did quite an effective job of distracting us. And again, he's gone for this uh, tactic of distracting us uh, with the harvester attacks. 
Although, to be fair, there's not much we can do against this because we do need to stop him from killing our harvester. Otherwise, he's going to have a huge economic advantage. So, I mean, I wouldn't be doing anything different from what you've been doing right here, to be fair. Okay, good. So, we're starting to get some nice pad control here. We've got all three pads. It looks like we could take this second missile. Good. Okay, so we need to, we're moving away our tank from the counters, which is good. Very good. Um, I'd be moving the flame squad off that uh, uh, left pad and moving the bike onto it. Um, yep. Okay, we need to get that bike onto the top pad there, otherwise he's going to block us off. And when that unit eventually dies, he's going to take the missile. Okay. So that's probably where the big mistake in this game was: was not getting that bike onto the very top pad um, at the end there, because we could have taken that second missile. Okay, so the rating I'm going to give Bayer is Command Pro. Overall, his gameplay is very good. He micros uh, very well, doing some good body uh, body blocking and also moving his um, units away from their counters very effectively. Taking care of uh, the harvester rushes quite well, uh, like in that game with the jump jet troops that, that kept coming up. Um, and also his bringing out the appropriate counters. So these are like the very fundamentals and he's doing those in a very good way. Okay, um, so don't forget to leave your ratings in the top right corner uh, uh, of the video in the poll and I, I will see you guys next time.